Hey guys and welcome back to Flirt. I hope that you're having a really good start to your week. And this week we are doing a topic of our choice because it's the end of the month and we are going to start doing this every single month. This week I decided for my topic that since summer is starting to kind of creep up upon us and not everybody lives with air conditioning. I would give you guys my own personal tips as to how to stay cool during the summer. Last summer, I lived in a completely not air conditioned apartment. My landlord wouldn't provide one and if you are absolutely broke like me, a window air conditioner is not an option for you. It was really difficult to get used to at first, especially during the June and July months because they were super hot and humid. On top of that, we also had pets, so it was always kind of a concern about making sure the house was cool enough for our animals and for us to live there. But I'm going to give you guys some tips and ideas as to how to deal with living in an apartment or maybe even a house that is completely on air condition. My first piece of advice is that you will have to buy some fans. You could go without fans, but I found that it was so much better when I did have fans. Um, I just had, I think, three set up in my living room. I would just have them all blowing near the couch. I had two big ones and then just a little tiny one at the head of the bed so that it would blow on us during the evening when we were trying to sleep. Just have your fans facing you and one really good idea is um, during the day just get a spray bottle, fill it with water and when it, you start getting really warm again spray yourself and all the mist will go on you and the fan will blow on you and it feels my second piece of advice of what I did last summer was like between the hours of 11 and 4 or sometimes 5, I would either try to go to a friend's house or go to the public library if I wasn't working um, or just try to go somewhere that had air conditioning. When it gets close to 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock is supposed to be like the hottest time of the day, so I would just try to avoid the apartment completely but I left my fans on and everything for my cats and left plenty of cold water for them. If I needed anything, I would go to Walmart and I would just spend hours just kind of browsing, um, even though I'm not really that big of a shopper. My third piece of advice is that during the daytime hours, just keep your curtains closed because sunlight um, coming in through your windows, if it's in your house, it's going to create a greenhouse effect. I think our curtains were almost always shut unless it was like a decent day. The fourth thing I did, which will make me sound lazy, it's going to be a natural instinct when it's that hot out to just take a nap. And according to some research online, it's actually a really good idea to just take an afternoon nap when it's super hot out that way and also you're not thinking about actually being hot. My fifth thing and something that should be super obvious but something that a lot of us will forget during the summer even if we do have air conditioning is to keep hydrated. The main thing was to stay hydrated um, since obviously I was sweating a lot. Drinking and eating cool items also help cool your body down because if you're cold on the inside it'll eventually make you feel cold on the outside. The next thing that I would do last summer, um, during the day I would wear very light, loose clothing. I wore a lot of tank tops. If I was just at home, honestly, I usually would just chill out in my underwear because it was a lot cooler to do that. And even at night, that's pretty much how I would sleep. I didn't have to feel my sweat clinging to my clothing. For those really, really, really super hot days and you feel like you're just not getting relief from any of those items, um, something to do is to put a cold towel on your neck, your forehead, and your wrists. What I would do, um, which is step number eight for the evening, um, 
once the sun starts to go down, open up your windows. Like, open up your window, let the evening air come in, and especially if it's breezy, because that breeze will make a nice difference in your apartment. Another really good idea, which is step number nine for nighttime, is to take a two liter bottle, fill it about halfway up with water, and put it in the freezer during the day. And then when it comes to nighttime, take it out, and put it in a pillowcase or just put a really light um, fabric blanket over it and cuddle it to your core because if you can cool off like your stomach and your chest area it'll go to your extremities too and also it just feels really amazing when you're super hot to just feel those chills and you'll just fall asleep. My very last one is for those super 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 unbearable humid hot nights and this is like drastic times drastic measures light clothing and go jump in the shower for like 30 seconds to a minute get yourself all drenched or just go ahead and take a completely full-blown cold shower or cool shower and then get out and lay in front of your fans there are a bunch of really great sites that also have other ideas for things that you can do um, if it does get too hot in your house or if you don't have air conditioning Unfortunately, I didn't have internet, and by the time I actually would get myself to the public library to use the internet, uh, my summer was basically over and it was pointless. Um, and also, if I would have been smart, I would have looked it up a lot sooner. I'm not going to say that it was easy, and there were a lot of nights that I would actually cry because it was so hot. I pretty much never was anywhere except for my kitchen, my living room, and my bathroom. I don't think there was ever a time during the summer that I slept in my bedroom simply because it was way too hot. But yeah, those are my personal tips for staying cool if you live in an unair conditioned apartment or house. Um, hopefully some of these tips helped you. I'm going to put some links below to some sites that, uh, actually give really good tips on things you can do to keep cool in your house um, and there were a couple of them that I really wish I would have thought of but I didn't but I'm still here so obviously what I did didn't turn out too bad so make sure to take care of yourself and be considerate of your pets don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see me every Tuesday and go check out the rest of the vloggers because they've got some pretty cool topics from what I understand. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, comment and like on my video. They have a great rest of the week and if you haven't already gotten the Flirt Spring Issue, go buy it now. I actually have an article in it about coming out as a lesbian to my family and friends and um, about coming to terms with myself. It has some really good advice in it and also the magazine is just super great um, it has awesome pictures tips advice and some really great articles in there so make sure to check it out before the summer issue arrives which will be coming soon and I will see you guys next week